Hi everyone, so welcome to my channel. Today's video is part two of my collection of designer bag. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. Don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, click a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just write me down below. I would really appreciate it. I will list it every bag down below. So for today uh, is part two of my designer bag collection and it will be my bigger bag. So the first part, I will link it down below, was about my smaller bags that I own. And part two is about my bigger bags. Um, like last time, I didn't have a lot of bags. You saw it, right? It was not that many. But big bags back in the days were really the thing I was interested in and I have a lot of them. So I'm so sorry, this video will be a little bit longer than the other one. I will try to keep it quite short, um, not tell everything about it like I did in the last one. So uh, yeah, oh my God, I don't know where, where to start. Um, I want to do a disclaimer, everything that I have here is everything I bought with my own money except one thing or two that I received as a present, um, otherwise everything else I bought with my own money. And bags and shoes are a really big thing to me, I'm really really interested in fashion as it is, but bags and shoes are like the thing that I really am passionate about. Uh, I really want to do also a designer shoes collection that I own, uh, so if you guys are interested, just uh, write it down below, uh, I would really appreciate it. Um, so let's get started. I think I will do alphabetic order. Yeah, let's do that. So the first bag I want to show you is my beloved Balenciaga City bag. This one um, I bought in Milan a long time ago. Um, was the, the, it's the first Balenciaga that I own um, and actually the only one, one I um, sold. Uh, and this one is a Balenciaga City, the classic one. And I really wanted this bag. It looks like a little bit like motorcycle kind of look. It's in the black leather with the dark black uh, stud. It looks like this is a perfect size and inside you do have a mirror. It's such a beautiful bag. I don't want to blind you guys, but here is the mirror. <laughs> I love this bag so much. I don't use it as much anymore because I'm into smaller bag at, uh, right now as it is. But I do use it. I, I, I used it a lot when I went to work and it's a classic. So I do think you should have it in your bag collection. And yes, I do love it a lot. And this one, yeah. It's, it's the only, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Balenciaga. Uh, like the new style right now, it's really beautiful, but I think it's a little bit too trendy for me. It will get lost like really quickly. Um, and I feel like this one is the classic Balenciaga. And this one was the only style that I really loved. And I do appreciate it. It's, I think it's like in um, calf skin and it's like in a vintage kind of look, if you guys can see. And I do love about it. It's very squishy and it's you, it's very casual. It's a very casual look, and I do love it a lot. So first bag, Balenciaga, Balenciaga classic CD bag. The next is a bag that you already uh, saw in my uh, top five designer bags because it's a bag um, very close to my heart. I love it a lot. Um, I show you exactly how it looks. This one is the big giant <laughs> Celine uh, luggage tote, the mini luggage tote. Um, it doesn't look that mini, right? It's huge, um, but I do love it. It's in the cobalt blue color. Um, it fits a lot. It's a beautiful leather. Um, it's calf leather and it's very heavy. That's the downside of this bag. I wish I would have bought a smaller size in another color, uh, but I do love the blue of it. It's beautiful, uh, but maybe um, maybe I will want a micro instead, micro luggage bag. It's a smaller one, maybe in a taupe kind of color. I feel like that will like complement more uh, my collection, um, but I do love this one. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, it's been in my collection for a very long time. I bought it in Stockholm and I'm really proud of this bag. It's beautiful. It, it really uh, holds the structure of it and it's just beautiful, beautiful bag. 
So the next bag that I own is also from Celine. I do have a kind of obsession with Celine bags. I feel like they have a really good style and designer I love and the quality is really, really great. So this bag is the Celine Trapeze bag. So cute and it's B color. So it's like um, black, I don't know if it's a dark, blue no it's a black black with the cream color and such a beautiful bag with gold hardware and yeah i had this obsession with this bag for a very long time i bought it vintage in a vintage store in stockholm and i'm so happy i got this bag because it's beautiful color combination so it fits everything first of all it fits everything inside and second of all um, you can pair with different outfit and it will always look good it's such a beautiful bag and the good part is you do have a stripe so you can have the bag like this wear it like this crossbody you can't because the stripe is a little bit too short but um, it's a really beautiful bag the next bag is a Givenchy bag and it's of course the Antigona black patent leather uh, bag in the medium size with the gold hardware. It looks like this. This one is a very beautiful bag that I wanted for a very long time. I bought this one vintage, not vintage. The person didn't wear it that much. They wore it like three times. And I'm really obsessed with this bag still now and still like during um, autumn and fall. I feel like this bag is a beautiful working bag. I do use it for work, um, but it also f so it fits in everything, but it also looks very polished and it's a very beautiful classic look. It comes also with a stripe. Of course, you can have it crossbody. The stripe is too short, but you can do, you can wear it like this. And this one, I feel like it can get very heavy because you put a lot of stuff inside but with the stripe it do helps a lot instead of just taking it like this so this bag is one of my favorite bigger bags that i own and it's a very classic ones and because it's in the patent i feel like it looks so beautiful especially on camera oh my god and it's a very structured bag so yeah do recommend this antigona a lot the next bag is um a my favorite bag, uh, bigger bag that I own uh, in my collection. I never thought I would be able to get this bag and I, I love it. It's like the perfect, perfect tote bag and I'm so grateful I had the opportunity to buy it and I have been using it a ton and this one is the Hermes, the Hermes Birkin in the 30 centimeters. It's like in the Togo leather and yeah black with with silver hardware uh this bag i wanted for a very long time and then i got the opportunity to buy it so i bought it i don't talk about it, i don't talk a lot about this bag because i feel like um it's a very controversial bag um so i do not want to talk so much about it but i love it a lot i feel like it's a classic it's very expensive but it's such a beautiful beautiful bag so I'm so happy I got it and I have been using it a ton especially now for um, winter time and uh, fall times um, with teddy coats or with like like very big um, coats uh, I feel like this one is a beautiful beautiful look so I'm really happy I got this baby with me this bag uh, my husband bought to me uh, was when we first met I don't remember why he bought it. I think it was not special because he just bought it to me. He's such a cutie. Um, this one is a bag from Izumiyaki, and not a lot of people know this bag. And the name of it is Bao Bao Bag, I think it calls. Yeah, it's called Bao Bao Bag from Izumiyaki. And it looks like this. It's silvery. I don't know if you guys can see. It's metallic. And it's a very simple bag. It's beautiful. And I do love it because the shape can be different you know how you put the bag it like it forms differently and I did saw a lot of fakes for this bag and it's so sad uh, because it's a very cool um, design and that's very good um, thinking how to do a, a bag so different 
um, with the lighting and stuff. So it's so sad that it's so many fakes around because this bag it's beautiful, especially for summer. I think it's a beautiful bag. Or for yeah, spring I think it's a little bit too early, but for summer this one is beautiful, especially if you go to vacation. So yeah, beautiful bag. Now it comes to the Louis Vuitton collection. Um, one bag I sold, uh, it was my Speedy um, 30 in the monogram uh, print. This one I sold because I was not using it as much, but other <laughs> are here. <laughs> so the first one is of course, you already saw this, is the Neverfull in the MM size, in the Damier Eben. I love this bag. This one is an old one, so it doesn't have the pochette inside, but it's uh, red, in red like this with the Louis Vuitton, but without the pochette, but you do have the ring so you can attach the pochette accessoire in it. Love this bag. Use it always a lot. I have been using it a lot for work, a lot when I go to study, I have courses, um, go to vacation. I do use it as a beach bag fits everything, it's in a pristine condition. I have been using it so much and it's still in perfect condition. So yeah, this one I do recommend as a first bag for your 18 year old um, uh, daughter that goes out of high school or your daughter goes out of college. I think this one is a perfect bag to invest if, if you're like looking for a designer bag. This one I will definitely, definitely recommend. Next Louis Vuitton bag is of course the classic Speedy. This one is the Speedy 30. As you guys heard, I sold my 30 in monogram, but I did not sold the Speedy in the Damier Eben. This one my mom bought to me as, this one was actually my first designer bag and my mom bought it to me when I was 19 years old or 18. Uh, and I love it so much. It's like perfect bag. You can always use it. It really, it's a classic. Next is of course another Speedy, but this one is in the Damier Azur and this bag I have been destroying. <laughs> 30 Damier Eben, as you guys can see, it's kind of really dark the patina but I have been using it so much for summer I still do I feel like this bag it's so cute fits a lot and yeah it's just a classic I do love this one as um, uh, as a typical um, carry-on for summer um, I do love also the Neverfull in the Damier Azur I think that's also a beautiful present it's also a beautiful beach bag um, yeah so I do love this one Last Louis Vuitton is actually in monogram and this bag looks like this. This one is the Noe bag. Now oh, the shape is not the best in picture. Let me take it. So, here she is. This one is the Noe um, in the monogram. Beautiful. This one is the bottom and it's such a beautiful bag. This one is detachable. You can do it big as longer the stripe or like smaller. Here I have the initials. Um, yes, I love this bag a lot. You see this bag a lot, especially in Switzerland. I feel like a lot of people have it. A lot of people have it as vintage. Uh, a lot of buy a new one. Um, it fits a lot. It's a perfect bag for school, perfect bag for work. Um, or for new baby mamas, maybe they want to have a little bit more space in their bags for baby stuff. This one is a perfect size. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say of it. It's a beautiful bag. Next bag my husband bought to me for my 28th birthday. He bought it, uh, I think it was online but um, he gave it to me when we were in Sweden for my birthday present, as my birthday present. And this one is a beautiful bag, but not a lot of people talk about it and it's such a um, good quality bag, so I don't understand why they don't do it, they don't talk about it enough. This one is the Mansur Gabriel. Gabriel, Mansur Gabriel. It's like a New, York, New Yorker um, design. And it's also, as you guys can see, like a tote. 
um, it's like black with a stripe the stripe you can also um, change how you want to have it. if you want to have it long or big it looks like this this one is the bag and of course inside it's red so outside is this beautiful beautiful leather calf leather and inside is red there are different colors different size this one is the biggest size I think it comes in two sizes a mini and this one the medium size and the good thing about this it comes with a pochette inside now it's my a little bit dirty but it's like this it says Mansour Gabriel and here is also red as you guys can see and inside here is also red and it's also good because then you know you will find everything because the color is red inside and not black um, when I was in New York I saw this bag uh, and a lot of women were wearing it uh, but I never saw Mansour Gabriel been wear here in, in Europe to be honest I just have been seeing it in the States especially in New York um, let's check these bags because it's beautiful uh, they do have different colors I saw this in pink I saw this one in beige in red and yeah it's cute what do you guys think I love it a lot next I have a Prada bag this one is the Prada Safiano uh, tote in the orange color and this one comes like this exactly and it's totally open it's totally open like this you do have a compartment here and also on the other side you do have one and um, you can also to make it more spacious you can open it up on the side and this one is in the gold hardware I think these Prada Safiano totes just come in gold hardware but I could be wrong um, love this bag so much um, the color it's a little bit difficult to um, to wear uh, to be honest you you all know right now I'm all about earth colors and black or white so orange is a little bit difficult to combine but it's a beautiful bag very structured and um, yeah this also I bought in Stockholm a long time ago I think it's like eight years ago so very long time ago so to have a lot of bags right oh my god this one is my last bag of my bag collection part two. Oh, oh my god so this one is the Stella McCartney bag uh, and it can be worn in different um, style you can be you can wear it like this but you can also take it down and wear it as a clutch or you can also wear it let me check it how it looks like this and it's a very versatile bag it's in vegan of course because Stella McCartney is all about being vegan so her leather it's not real leather it's vegan leather and it's a little bit glittery do you guys see that and it's such a beautiful bag the chain is very very durable it's very heavy um, yes this bag it's a little bit controversial like a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it this one is the big, the, the, the size in the middle because we do have one that it's a huge like bag this one is in the middle and it's more versatile and then you have the smaller one um, but I do love this one this one is the first one that came with this black and I was one of the first to buy it because I was obsessed with it and this one I also have been using a lot um, during night for dinners and but also to go to work because it fits literally a lot and inside is beige that means that you find everything inside you do have a compartment also here where you can put the stuff but it's a beautiful bag and it's very heavy like the chain is so heavy it's incredible so yes that was it for my um, designer bag collection part two I hope everyone liked it um, if you if you have any question just write it down below um, I always try to answer everyone and I hope you liked everything and yes I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful evening see you guys soon bye